All right. Hi, how's it going? So this is going to be a really short intro. Um, the things that I wanted to say really quickly are the same things that I said in the, the first video. Um, the images that you see are just there to represent kind of what you're hearing. They're not exact representations of what you of exactly of what you're hearing. Um, next, I use static images instead of I didn't animate them this time. So be aware of that and tell me if you like it or if you mind it because it, I can make videos a lot faster by I'll still do the animated ones because I think that looks a little bit better. Um, but I will also be doing static images one images for uh, for just quicker stories. This one is not a quick story, but whatever. Uh, lastly, I still hate the the Sister of Battles voice, but I kind of just gotta stick through it. So hopefully it's not hopefully it's not too bad. I think that's it. Uh, right, I also wrote it in a kind of like a screenplay. I didn't write it like a like a novel, book, short story, whatever. I kind of wrote it as a screenplay, so it's a little jarring. I'm not going to do this again. There's one more part after this that, yes, will also have the screenplay uh, structure. But these two will be the last, because I don't like the way it sounds. I don't, I don't really like how it turned out. Uh, it's a little jarring. With all that being said, this is part two of The Labyrinth of Damned, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know in the comments. And do the, what is it? Like, comment, and subscribe. Okay. Thank you so much. Enjoy. The labyrinth's descent into its subterranean depths marks a chilling transition. The air grows colder, each breath visible as a frosty mist. The dim, flickering torches mounted on the ancient stone walls cast long, dancing shadows, making the corridor ahead seem alive with movement. The scent of damp earth mixed with something faintly acrid, like the smell of old blood or forgotten tombs, fills the air, thick with the weight of unspoken secrets. Inquisitor Malachi. His voice echoes slightly in the narrow passageway, a resolute clang against the whispers of the dark. Every step takes us deeper into the heart of madness, into the bowels of ancient machinations, Stay alert. The deeper we go, the closer we come to the truths we seek and the dangers they bring. Sister Callia, pulling her cloak tighter against the chill, her voice steady but lower, almost a whisper. It feels as if the very stones are watching us, Inquisitor. I can almost hear them whisper. Does madness lie in heeding their words or in ignoring them? Tech priest Orion, his optics adjusting to the lower light, scanning the walls and the floor as they proceed. Madness lies in losing one's grasp on reality. These sensations, these whispers you feel, they are not entirely born of our minds. The labyrinth is steeped in psychic residues. It speaks in ways we are perhaps not meant to understand. Assassin Jarin Zoth, his steps silent despite the heavy air, his eyes scanning for any hint of movement. And yet, understanding these whispers, could be the key to navigating this maze. If it speaks, it can be listened to. And if it can be listened to, it can be deceived or countered. Inquisitor Malachi nodding, his gaze fixed on the path ahead. Indeed, Jarion. We must listen, learn, and discern. The labyrinth offers both guide and misguide. We must choose wisely which to follow. As they continue, a low moan seems to rise from the very depths of the earth, a sound so desolate and mournful that it chills even the seasoned warriors. Kalia, her hand instinctively going to the symbol of the Emperor at her neck, her voice a soft murmur. The Emperor lights our path, even in the darkest of places. May his guidance protect us from the lies woven into these stones. Orion, pausing to adjust a device at his wrist, designed to record and analyze the ambient psychic energy. The readings are increasing exponentially. This is no mere construction. 
It is a psychic labyrinth as much as a physical one. Every emotion, every thought we emit, is absorbed and possibly reflected back at us. Jarian X off, his voice cool, analytical. Then let our thoughts be sharp, and our emotions controlled. If this place thrives on what we feel, let us starve it with our resolve. With Malachi at the lead, his figure resolute against the encroaching dark, the team presses deeper into the labyrinth. Each member is acutely aware of the oppressive atmosphere, yet driven by a purpose too vital to forsake. The labyrinth may whisper its mad secrets, but they walk armed with faith, reason, and an unyielding determination to uncover the truth buried in its heart. In a secluded alcove of the labyrinth, tech priest Orion stumbles upon a cache of ancient texts and digital scriptures, their pages and screens flickering to life under his expert touch. The texts pulse with forbidden knowledge, revealing secrets of controlling the very essence of life and death, power that could elevate the wielder above mere mortal constraints. Tech priest Orion, his voice quivering slightly with the magnitude of his discovery. Inquisitor, these texts, they speak of domains thought to be solely within the Emperor's grasp. The implications are profound, unsettling. Inquisitor Malachi approaching cautiously, his tone laden with a warning sternness. Orion, remember where we are. This labyrinth is designed to seduce and mislead. Power over life and death is not ours to wield. Such paths often lead to damnation. Tech Priest Orion, his mechanical appendages delicately turning the pages as his mind races. But, but imagine the possibilities, Inquisitor. The ability to end suffering, to preserve the Imperium's greatest minds indefinitely. Could we not use such power to protect humanity? Sister Kalia, her expression stern, her voice echoing the chamber's coldness, Orion, even the holiest of intentions can be corrupted when one dallies with such powers. What starts as a noble quest can end in heresy. We are but servants of the Emperor. To assume such control is to walk the path of the traitor. Assassin Jarian Zoth leaning against a cool stone wall, his eyes narrowed, assessing Orion's reaction. Power is just a tool. It's the hand that wields it that decides its nature. Still, some tools are too dangerous to grasp. This feels like one of them. Orion, pausing, his optical senses flickering as he processes the moral implications. Your cautions are noted and your counsel wise. Yet my duty as a seeker of knowledge urges me to explore all possibilities. How can I turn away when such secrets could potentially safeguard billions? Inquisitor Malachi placing a firm hand on Orion's shoulder, his gaze piercing. Because, Orion, not all secrets are meant to be unearthed. Some knowledge is forbidden for a reason. Our mission is to secure the throne of souls, not to be lured by every dark corner that promises power. Orion nods slowly, the weight of his companion's words grounding him back to the reality of their perilous mission. He carefully secures the data with a heavy sense of responsibility. Tech Priest Orion, finally stepping away from the texts, his voice resolute. You are right, Inquisitor. The risk of corruption is too great. We must focus on the task at hand. Let us proceed, with our souls intact and our purpose clear. The team continues deeper into the labyrinth, leaving the tempting secrets behind, but carrying the heavy knowledge of what they contain. Orion's internal conflict adds a layer of tension to the group's dynamic, yet also strengthens their resolve to remain vigilant against the seductive dangers of the labyrinth. In the twisted corridors of the labyrinth, the air thickens as assassin Jarian Zoth steps ahead, sensing an impending challenge. Suddenly from the shadows emerges a figure mirroring his own, Clad in the dark garb of an assassin, every detail a perfect reflection of Jarion himself. The spectral assassin draws twin blades that gleam with a ghostly light. The spectre, 
his voice a chilling echo of Jarian's own tauntingly calm. At last, the hunter faces himself. Will you flee as you have from your past, or will you fight to end your torment? Assassin Jarian Exoth, circling his doppelganger, blades ready, his voice steady but with an undercurrent of resolve. I have fled nothing. Each life taken was a step on a path I chose. Each step weighed and measured. If my past seeks to reckon with me, it will find me ready. The two figures clash, blades striking with sparks and ethereal energy. The duel is intense and brutal, each movement mirrored, each strike parried with equal skill. The labyrinth seems to pulse with the rhythm of their combat. Inquisitor Malachi watching intently, his voice firm, supportive. Face this demon, Jarian. Confront it as you would any other foe. You are more than the sum of your past actions. Sister Kalia, her hand on her weapon, ready to intervene if necessary, her voice laced with concern. Be strong, Jarian. Remember, it's not just the body that battles, but the spirit within. Tech Priest Orion analyzing the spectral phenomenon, his voice analytical. Fascinating. This apparition is not merely a physical challenge, but a psychic manifestation. A test of mental and emotional strength as well. As the duel intensifies, Jarian finds an inner strength. With a decisive move, he disarms the spectral assassin, pressing the tip of his blade against the phantom's chest. Jarian Exoth, breathing heavily, his gaze locked on his spectral opponent. I am the master of my fate, the captain of my soul. You are but a shadow of my fears, and today I am fearless. With those final words, Jarian drives his blade forward. The spectral assassin dissolves into mist, leaving behind a small luminescent shard, a token of the confrontation and a symbol of his victory over his inner demons. Inquisitor Malachi, nodding with respect, approaching Jarian. Well done, Jarian. Each victory here strengthens not just you, but all of us. Your resolve steals our collective purpose. Talia smiling slightly, offering a nod of approval. Indeed, it is through facing our darkest reflections that we come to know our true selves. Let this victory remind you of your strength. Jarian picking up the luminescent shard, his voice a mixture of relief and newfound resolve. This shard, I will carry it as a reminder. A reminder that no shadow is too dark to overcome. United and strengthened by Jarian's victory, the team presses forward, each step now carrying a new weight of confidence and determination. The labyrinth continues to challenge them, but they are bound by a renewed sense of unity and purpose. The team reaches what appears to be the heart of the labyrinth, a vast chamber whose air is thick with oppressive darkness. The walls pulsate slightly as if breathing and are covered with grotesque frescoes that detail the labyrinth's grim history. Each fresco depicts a morbid tale of past explorers, their souls twisted and absorbed by the maze itself. The atmosphere is heavy, each step forward weighed down by the palpable presence of malevolent energy. Inquisitor Malachi, his voice echoing solemnly in the chamber, his eyes scanning the frescoes with a mix of revulsion and determination. These walls, they tell of the labyrinth's insatiable hunger for the souls of those who dared to uncover its secrets. We must not falter here, at the very heart of our enemy. Sister Kalia, her gaze fixed on a particularly vivid fresco showing a group of warriors being slowly consumed by the maze, her voice a whisper of horror and resolve. These images, they serve as a warning and a reminder of what awaits the unwary. We tread a path fraught with peril, but we walk it with the Emperor's light. Tech Priest Orion, analyzing the energy patterns emanating from the walls, his senses whirring and clicking. The psychic residue in this place is overwhelming. It's as if the walls themselves are alive, feeding on the echoes of those it has devoured. Caution is advised. The labyrinth is most potent here. Assassin Jarian Xoth, his expression grim, 
his hands resting on his blades, ready for whatever might arise. Let these lost souls strengthen our resolve rather than deter us. We will not end as mere echoes in these walls. We will be the ones to break the cycle of this cursed place. As they converse, a low hum begins to resonate throughout the chamber, the dark energy peaking as if responding to their presence and defiance. Inquisitor Malachi stepping forward, his voice clear and authoritative. This is no mere chamber. It is a crucible for our faith and courage. Here, in the darkness, we must shine brightest. Remember why we have come, and let that purpose guide your every action. Sister Kalia nodding, clutching her weapon tightly, her determination evident. The Emperor protects. His will guides my blade, and by his grace I will see this through to the end, no matter the darkness that seeks to overwhelm us. Orion his data tethers pulsing with light as they connect with various interfaces around the room, trying to gain control over the chamber's mechanisms. I will attempt to stabilize the energy flux. Perhaps we can use the labyrinth's power against itself. Turn these mechanisms into a tool for our escape. Assassin Jarian Exoth, his voice low, a whisper meant only for those closest to him as he surveys the exits. Stay vigilant. The heart of the maze will not relinquish its secrets easily. Be ready for whatever it throws at us. United in their resolve and prepared for the trials that this final chamber might present, the team braces themselves. The air crackles with energy, the frescoes seeming to watch, waiting for the team's next move. They stand together, a bastion of resolve in the heart of darkness, ready to face whatever challenges the labyrinth dares to impose. Amidst the pulsating darkness of the labyrinth's heart, a ghostly figure materializes before Inquisitor Malachi. It is the wraith-like apparition of his old mentor, his features both stern and sorrowful, his presence a cold whisper against the skin. The air seems to still, the chamber's ominous hum fading into a tense silence as the spectral figure speaks. The spectre, his voice echoing eerily around the chamber, filled with a grave urgency. Malachi, my pupil, you tread a path fraught with peril greater than you know. The throne of souls you seek. It is not what it appears. It is a trap, a nexus of despair meant to ensnare the unwary and the power hungry. Inquisitor Malachi staring in shock, his voice a mixture of reverence and disbelief. Master, is it truly you? How can this be? What do you mean about the throne? We seek it to protect the Imperium, to wield its power against chaos. The wraith shakes its head slowly, its eyes sad but resolute. The throne is a seduction, a lure crafted by the very essence of deceit, Sinch. It promises power, but delivers only enslavement. Those who seek to control it become its most potent victims. Their souls forfeit. Sister Kalia, her voice low, watching Malachi closely, her hand resting on her weapon. Inquisitor, we must heed these words. This could be the labyrinth's trickery, or it could be a genuine warning. We must be cautious. Tech priest Orion, his senses flickering uneasily as he observes the apparition, his tone analytical but concerned. An apparition in the labyrinth could indeed be a manipulation. Yet, Dismissing this could lead us into the very peril it warns against. Caution is prudent. Assassin Jarian Exoth, narrowing his eyes, his voice steady. A warning from beyond. Or a ghostly manipulation. We are deep in the game now. Every piece of information could be a move against us. We decide our next steps carefully with clear minds. Malachi, taking a deep breath, his resolve shaken, but his duty clear, his voice firming as he addresses his mentor's spirit. Thank you, Master, for this counsel. Whether you are a shade sent to deceive or guide, I will consider your warning. We will proceed with our eyes open to deception and hearts guarded against corruption. The spectre, nodding solemnly, beginning to fade. Beware the allure of easy power, Malachi. It is the path to damnation. 
Remember your purpose, your duty to the Emperor. Let that guide you, not the whispers of shadows. As the apparition dissipates, the oppressive atmosphere returns, but the team feels a renewed sense of vigilance. Malachi's faith is tested, but his determination to lead his team wisely through the remaining trials is reinforced by the spectral visitation. They press on, each step more cautious, each decision weighed against the potential of profound consequences. The spectral mentor's warning casts a shadow over the team as they traverse the labyrinth's convoluted paths. In the silence that follows, each member processes the gravity of the revelation. The labyrinth, almost sentient in its malice, whispers doubts and dark thoughts preying on their fears. Malachi, his face haunted by the spectral warning, speaks with a heavy certainty. We cannot ignore what we've been told. We sought the throne to use it against our enemies. But what if it is, as he said, a trap? We must be vigilant, prepared to destroy it if necessary. Sister Callia, her resolve firming, her voice a murmur of steel and faith. We've come too far to falter now. Whatever lies ahead, our duty is clear. We proceed, but with caution, ready to face whatever trickery awaits. The air around them thickens the darkness growing more oppressive as they draw nearer to the heart of the labyrinth. Their steps are measured, the tension palpable. They enter a large antechamber, dimly lit by phosphorescent lichen crawling up the ancient stone walls. This is the penultimate room before the inner sanctum, a place heavy with the weight of unspoken secrets. Tech priest Orion, his eyes scanning the room, his voice tinged with a dangerous curiosity. This chamber, it is old, older than any imperial record. The knowledge here could redefine reality itself, could it not? Perhaps the throne is not just a weapon or a trap, but a doorway to understanding the very fabric of the cosmos. Orion's words hang in the air, his fascination with the arcane secrets pushing him closer to the edge of treason. The team watches him warily, sensing the shift in his demeanor as he approaches a strange artifact at the center of the room, an orb pulsing with an eerie light. Jarian Zoth, his voice low, his hand on his blade. Careful, Tech Priest. Your thirst for knowledge could lead us all to doom. Remember where we are and why we came here. As Orion touches the orb, the room shudders and a pathway opens leading to the inner sanctum. His fascination becomes obsession, his earlier reservations fading as the lure of forbidden knowledge beckons him forward. Orion, his voice now a whisper of awe and madness. The power to reshape reality, to defy the very laws of physics and time. It's within our grasp. We must explore further, mustn't we? For science, for the Imperium. His transformation begins subtly, his skin paler, his eyes glowing with an unnatural light. The team exchanges worried glances, their earlier unity fracturing as they sense the impending betrayal. Malachi, his voice a command, cutting through the tension. We move forward, together. Orion, you are not alone in this. We will face whatever comes as a team, united by our duty to the Emperor. They step into the inner sanctum, the air vibrating with power. It is here that Orion's transformation accelerates, spurred on by the raw energy of the Throne of Souls. As they confront him, each member is torn between camaraderie and duty, the fight against Orion not just physical, but a battle for his very soul. In the eerie glow of the labyrinth's inner sanctum, the air thickens with palpable tension. Tech Priest Orion, his figure shadowed and movements erratic halts abruptly. His once companionable demeanor shifts, his voice now a chilling echo of its former self as he reveals his long hidden intentions. Tech Priest Orion. His voice distorted, resonating with a newfound power. Orion raises his arms, his mechadendrites twisting unnaturally as he begins chanting in a guttural arcane dialect. 
The air around him shimmers with warp energy and grotesque demonic entities begin to materialize, their forms horrifying as they solidify in the physical realm. Inquisitor Malachi. Drawing his power sword, his face set in a grim line. Orion, what madness has taken hold of you? This is not the pursuit of knowledge, this is heresy. You betray not only us, but the very essence of the Imperium. Sister Kalia, her voice a battle cry as she charges forward, her faith armor glowing with a protective aura. Emperor, protect us. We must subdue him before he fully succumbs to the demon's grip. Assassin Jarian Xoth, slipping into the shadows, his blades ready, his tone cold and calculated. I'll flank him. Keep the demons engaged. Orion's mind may be lost but his betrayal will not go unpunished. The chamber erupts into chaos as the demonic entities snarl and leap towards the team. Malachi and Kalia work in tandem, parrying and striking with precise, controlled fury. Meanwhile, Jarian moves stealthily, positioning himself behind Orion, waiting for the opportune moment to strike. Orion, his transformation accelerating, his flesh warping grotesquely, as he communes with the Dark Gods, his voice booming across the chamber. You cannot stop this. The power of the throne is mine to wield. I will reshape this reality and all others in the image of the new order. Orion's body continues to mutate, his silhouette becoming a twisted shadow of his former self, a grotesque fusion of man and machine infused with warp energies. The team fights desperately, not only against the summoned demons, but against the crushing despair of betrayal. Kalia, her blade arcing through a demon, her voice fierce yet tinged with sadness. We fight not only for our lives, but for the soul of our brother. Orion, see the light before it is too late. Malachi, facing Orion directly, his power sword clashing against Orion's mechanically augmented arms, his voice powerful and commanding. You were one of us, Orion. You can still choose the light of the Emperor over the darkness that consumes you. The battle reaches a fever pitch, the team slowly gaining ground against the demonic horde. Jarian, seizing a moment of distraction, lunges forward, his blades aimed at a critical juncture in Orion's corrupted form, seeking to end the heresy before it can do more damage. As the fight continues, the outcome remains uncertain. Each strike, each parry, a testament to their resolve, and the tragic fall of one who was once an ally. As the echoes of Orion's dark declaration fade, the labyrinth seems to respond, its walls pulsing with a sinister energy. The team, reeling from the revelation of Orion's betrayal, regroups, knowing the battle to come might be their last. Malachi's face, usually a mask of resolve, is now etched with the weight of impending confrontation. Malachi, his voice firm, trying to instill courage in his team. This is the crucible of our faith and duty. Orion has surrendered to darkness, but we remain the Emperor's blade. We cannot falter now, not when so much is at stake. As they advance through the twisting corridors, the labyrinth seems to anticipate their movements, the environment becoming increasingly hostile. The walls close in, the path behind them twisting into impossible geometries. Ahead, the final door to the throne room looms, its surface a grotesque tableau of screaming faces, a testament to the throne's malevolence. Sister Kalia, her voice a whisper, tinged with resolve. The throne. It's not just a source of power. It's a beacon of corruption. We've seen what it's done to Orion. We must destroy it for the sake of all. Tech Priest Orion. From ahead, his voice now a horrifying blend of his former timbre and something far darker carries back to them. Come then, witness the dawn of a new era. I will show you the true power of the throne. You could have been part of this grand design. The team pauses at the threshold, the air crackling with warp energy. The door's faces grimace and moan, a chorus of the dam that chills them to their cores, but it's Orion's transformation that horrifies them the most. No longer the scholar they knew, his body is a twisted homage to his new patrons in the warp, 
his flesh intermingled grotesquely with his augmented machinery. Assassin Jarian Xoth, his voice low, grim determination in his eyes. Orion's lost, swallowed by the lies of chaos. We end this, not just to save the Imperium, but to save our brother from himself. They readied themselves, each member drawing upon their deepest reserves of strength. Malachi's power sword ignites with a fierce glow. Kalia's armor radiates a soft, holy light, and Jarian's blades gleam sharply in the dim light. With a collective nod, they push forward, the door's resistance palpable as if it itself fights against their entry. Inquisitor Malachi, his voice rising over the din of the labyrinth's wails, for the Emperor, for the Imperium. The door bursts open, revealing the sanctum within. Orion stands at the far end, his form more monstrous than man, a conduit for unspeakable power. The air is thick with the stench of corruption and power. With grim determination, they step forward, ready to confront not just the corrupted tech priest, but the very essence of the dark powers he now embodies. The battle to save or damn the galaxy begins in earnest. Suddenly and without warning, chains conjured from the very essence of the labyrinth bound Inquisitor Malachi and his companions who are forced into stillness as tech priest Orion revels in his burgeoning power. The air around them crackles with the dark energy emanating from Orion, his form more grotesque by the moment as his flesh contorts and his machinery integrates further with the warp's corruption. Tech priest Orion his voice booming, filled with a terrifying conviction as he gazes upon his former allies with eyes that burn with unholy light. Behold, the birth of a new god. Once I sit upon the throne of souls, the galaxy shall kneel. Those who oppose me will burn, and from their ashes, a new order will rise. Malachi struggling against the cold, hard chains his voice resolute despite the grim situation. You are no god, Orion. You are a pawn in a game far beyond your comprehension. This power you crave, it will consume you, leaving nothing but ruin in its wake. Sister Kalia, her voice echoing around the stone chamber, her faith unshaken even in captivity. The Emperor's light is eternal, Orion. It pierces through darkness and deception. You have forsaken his grace, but we have not. We will stop you, no matter the cost. Orion, laughing maniacally, the sound echoing off the ancient stones. Cost. The only cost will be your insignificant lives. My ascension is inevitable. The Dark Gods have promised me dominion, and I have promised them the galaxy. Jarian, his voice cold, his demeanor calm, despite the dire circumstances. Promises made to gods of chaos are as empty as the void itself. You think you control this power? but you are merely drowning in its depths. Orion turns away, beginning to chant in a deep, resonating tone that vibrates through the chamber, his gestures grandiose as he prepares for a ritual that will cement his fate and potentially doom all reality. Inquisitor Malachi, to his team, his voice a whispered command, a plan forming even in the face of despair. We cannot lose hope. This is not the end, but a test of our resolve. Orion has shown his hand. Now we must find a way to break these chains and foil his mad gambit. As Orion's focus deepens on his ritual, the team exchanges determined looks, each member mentally preparing for the moment they might have a chance to strike back. The stakes have never been clearer. They must stop Orion or witness the galaxy's fall to unimaginable chaos. In the grim shadows of their captivity, the team's fate seems sealed as Orion's ritual nears its zenith. Yet Sister Kalia's spirit remains unbroken. Clasping her symbol of the Emperor tightly, she whispers a fervent prayer, her voice a soft but powerful incantation of faith and defiance. Sister Kalia, her voice resonating with a deep, unwavering conviction as she invokes the Emperor's protection, by the Emperor's light, I shall not be bound. His will is my shield, his might my sword. 
As her prayer reaches a crescendo, a brilliant blinding light emanates from her, enveloping the chains. With a resounding crack that echoes like thunder through the chamber, the chains shatter fragments of corrupted metal scattering across the stone floor. Inquisitor Malachi, his eyes wide with a mix of awe and renewed hope, quickly rising to his feet. Kalia, your faith. It's broken our bonds. You've given us a chance, a chance to stop this madness. Diaring Zoth, flexing his freed arms, grasping his blades once again, a nod of respect towards Sister Kalia. Well done, sister. Now let us end what we started. Orion's ascension will not come to pass. Sister Kalia, her energy somewhat diminished but her resolve stronger than ever, moves swiftly to assist the others as they prepare for the confrontation ahead. Ahalia, her tone firm, rallying her companions as they prepare to confront Orion. The Emperor guides us, and with his light, we shall purge this corruption. Orion has forsaken all he once held dear. We must stop him or end his threat forever. Orion, his voice booming from his sanctum, mocking their renewed hope as his form continues to grotesquely transform. Your faith is futile. See how easily I break the very essence of your spirit. Malachi drawing his power sword, his gaze set on the path to the sanctum, a leader once more. Then we strike swiftly and decisively. Orion's transformation must not be completed. For the sake of the galaxy, for our fallen brethren, and for the souls ensnared by this labyrinth, we end this now. With Sister Kalia at the forefront, her faith burning bright, the team advances towards Orion's sanctum, their steps quick and determined. The air crackles with the tension of impending battle, but also with the unyielding courage of those who fight for the light amidst overwhelming darkness. The labyrinth's very structure seems to conspire against Inquisitor Malachi and his team as they make their desperate push towards Orion's sanctum. Corridors twist and shift before them, walls collapsing and reforming with malicious intent, as if the maze itself seeks to devour them before they can thwart its master's plan. Inquisitor Malachi leading the charge, his voice loud over the rumble of moving stone. Keep moving. The throne must not fall into Orion's hands. Every second counts. Sister Kalia, her armor clanking as she dodges falling debris, her faith a beacon guiding her actions. The labyrinth throws its worst at us, a sign we near our goal. Stand firm in your faith, brothers, for the Emperor watches over us. Orion, his voice distorted, resonating from deep within the sanctum, his laughter mocking their efforts as the maze shifts under his command. You cannot comprehend the true nature of this power. Your efforts are as futile as your faith. Jarian Zoth, swiftly moving ahead to scout and clear obstacles, his blade slicing through tendrils of darkness that reach out from the walls. Path is clear. Move now. I'll cover our rear. Don't let anything slow you down. As they navigate the treacherous path, the air thickens with a palpable sense of urgency. The labyrinth seems alive, its walls pulsating with a dark energy that resonates with the growing power emanating from the sanctum ahead. Demonic roars and the sounds of arcane incantations grow louder as they approach. Kalia, grim determination on her face, shouting back to Malachi as she leads the way. The throne room must be close. I can feel the corrupt energy surging. We must breach it before Orion completes his transformation. Malachi, nodding, adjusting his grip on his power sword, his voice a rallying cry. On me, let nothing stand in our way, for the Emperor and the Imperium. The team breaks into a sprint, their armor clashing against the stone floor, echoes mingling with the sounds of the labyrinth's fury. They dodge traps, slice through emerging demonic entities, and push past the physical and psychic assaults that try to overwhelm their senses. Each member of the team knows the stakes. Fail here, and the galaxy could be irrevocably changed. Orion, his voice booming across the chamber, the sound of his mechanical limbs resonating as they distort further with each chant, his transformation nearing completion. This is the dawn of a new era. The labyrinth will consume you as it has so many before. 
With a final push, the team rounds a corner, the massive doors to the throne room looming before them, etched with glowing runes that throb in time with the dark heartbeat of the labyrinth. Malachi raises his sword, signaling the team for the final assault, their hearts and weapons ready for the confrontation that awaits. The team bursts through the ornate doors into a long, imposing corridor, lined with statues of warriors, sorcerers and heroes, all frozen in stone. These figures, grim and noble, suddenly stir to life as the team advances, their stone eyes glowing with an eerie, malevolent light. Each statue steps off its pedestal armed and ready to defend the path to the throne room. Inquisitor Malachi brandishing his power sword, his voice commanding and clear. Stay together. These guardians are the labyrinth's final test. We must fight as one. Gallia, raising her bolter, her voice a resolute chant. In the Emperor's name, we shall not falter. His light guides our blades. As the statues lunge forward, their movements surprisingly agile for their stone forms, the team coordinates their assault with practiced precision. Sister Kalia fires bursts of sanctified bolts, each shot finding its mark, shattering stone and halting charges. Tech Priest Orion, his voice now a distorted, malicious sneer echoing from farther down the corridor, challenging them. Your faith in flesh will falter against the true power of the throne. These guardians are but echoes of my will. Assassin Jarian Xoth, darting between the statues with lethal grace, his twin blades a blur of motion slicing through stone limbs and torsos. Divide and conquer, Malachi, on your left. Inquisitor Malachi pivots, his power sword glowing hotly as he cleaves through a statue about to strike Sister Kalia from behind. The statue crumbles into rubble, and Malachi nods his thanks to Jarian, the battle drawing them closer as comrades. Sister Kalia, as she reloads, her eyes scanning for the next threat, her voice echoes down the corridor. Press forward. Every fallen guardian brings us closer to Orion and the throne. With each statue they dispatch, the remaining ones fight with increased ferocity, as if driven by the desperate energy of the labyrinth itself. Yet, the team's combined strength, Malachi's leadership, Kalia's fervor, and Jarian's lethal skill proves overpowering. They move through the gauntlet, a cohesive unit fortified by shared purpose and sharpened by adversity. Malachi, as the last of the statues shatters, leaving them panting but unbroken, his voice firm with renewed resolve. Well fought, everyone. Orion is just ahead. Let us end this, for all who have fallen before us, and for those we swear to protect. Reinvigorated by their victory over the Guardians, the team rallies and prepares for the final confrontation. The end of the corridor approaches, the air thick with the palpable aura of impending climax. They ready themselves, each moment heavy with the weight of destiny as they step towards the door that holds their final challenge. Standing at the grand, ominous doors of the throne room, Inquisitor Malachi and his companions, Sister Kalia and Assassin Jarian Zoth, pause for a moment, their armor scarred and faces marked by the trials they have endured. The heavy doors loom before them, the air pulsing with the dark energy seeping from the cracks. This threshold is more than a barrier. It is the line between their past struggles and the ultimate test of their resolve. Inquisitor Malachi, his voice resonant, rallying his companions with a grim determination. This is it. Beyond these doors lies our final challenge. Orion, corrupted beyond redemption, must be stopped. We carry not just the hope of the Imperium, but the weight of all who have fallen to this cursed labyrinth. Sister Kalia, clutching her weapon, her armor etched with sigils of protection, her voice imbued with a steely faith. We stand together as the Emperor's chosen. In his name we have come this far, and in his name we shall triumph. Let our courage be our shield, and our faith our weapon. Assassin Jarian Zoth, checking the blades at his sides, his eyes sharp, a predator ready for the hunt, his voice low and resolute. Let us end this, not just for glory or duty, but for redemption. 
For all of us. And for those whose whispers haunt these halls. Orion was one of us. Now, we lay his ambition to rest. Malachi stepping forward, his power sword at the ready. For the Emperor, for the Imperium, and for the souls of the damned, we end this now. The team, in their formation tight and tactical, each member ready to play their part in the dance of battle that will decide the fate of countless worlds. Their resolve is iron, their spirits unbroken, and their wills united in the singular purpose of stopping a catastrophe. Alright, and that was part two of Labyrinth of the Damned. I hope you enjoyed it. I did have fun making it. Didn't turn out exactly, exactly how I wanted it to. There's always a few issues, slip-ups. I've, I've noticed it's kind of too late for me to go back and change them. So they are what they are. Um, I do hope you enjoyed it, though. Uh, part three will come out in maybe three, four days, and then I'll release the the full version with all three parts all put together a little bit after that. Um, I the next story after part three will be I said this in the last video it'll be about well it's it's with an ad mech he's alone on a station he's he's basically just doing maintenance essentially like year round and he discovers something awful and it leads to hopefully a wonderful story so hopefully uh, you guys will like that that's it for this, though. I don't have much to say, like I said. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for, uh, for part three. Thank you for the support, as always. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, give me feedback, criticism, praise, tell me you hate it, something. Uh, it's all welcomed. If you tell me you hate it, tell me why, at least. Uh, <laughs> That's, that would be helpful. Alright. That's all. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon.